How is it going? This is Dana Ball Tech, and today I'm going to show you the best and the easiest way to type on your Apple Watch. Today I'm presenting you Flick Type. Have a look at this amazing app. And the best part is, it is completely 100% free. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and let me show you how you can install it, customize it, and use it. Let's begin. Okay, so first off, you have to naturally download and install the app. Uh, if you're running watchOS 6, like, I'm, I, like I am right now, uh, you can do this whole process from your Apple Watch itself. You don't need your iPhone. So uh, you can go to the App Store app, and then you can go in Search, and then search for Flick Type. Look for it. And then there you have it, Flick Type Keyboard. And then you can go ahead and hit Download. Uh, since I already have it, it's going to say open. Uh, that's pretty much it for downloading it on your Apple Watch. But if you don't, uh, if you're not in watchOS 6, if you are in watchOS 5 or below, you're going to need to use your iPhone to download it. So the process is also very easy. All you have to do is go to the Watch app and then uh, you're going to go to the App Store right here at the bottom. Open the App Store. Uh, this screen may look a little bit different on your phone, depends on the OS version you are, all right? But uh, it's all the same. So go for the search and then search for flick type, all right? So same story, flick type, and then uh, search for it. And then same story, you go ahead and download it. It's, it's saying open online again because I already have it. So as soon as it's downloaded, uh, since you're here on your iPhone, and I think this is interesting, even if you download straight from your Apple Watch or from your iPhone, uh, go ahead and scroll down just to make sure it is installed. So uh, make sure it is right here on installed on Apple Watch, right down at the bottom. So it is here uh, installed flick type. So then you know the app is there on the Apple Watch. And also open it up, uh, make sure it is it says on, it's gonna say on here if it is on that section and then but this this part is the one I want you to customize because uh, they, these are the emoji shortcuts you're gonna thank me later on this so select the emojis you like the most uh, here are six you can have more uh, just select the emojis you want the ones you frequently use more so these are the ones I use the most so that's fine by me and now we can go ahead and go back and then you're fine you don't need your iPhone anymore all right let's go back to the Apple watch okay so now that we have downloaded installed and customized flick type let me show you how you can actually use it. Uh, flick type is mostly used for two different things, for replying to iMessage uh, messages and for replying to WhatsApp messages. And the process is a little bit different, it varies a little bit from one app to the other, so I'm going to show you on both. So first of all, iMessages. Uh, actually if you want to use flick type to type a message to uh, iMessage and to reply to that, uh, you don't actually open the iMessage app or, reply or tap on the notification itself. You have to open the flick type app itself right here. So the circle with three dots you have to open it up type the message and then you send to iMessage that's the that's the process all right so let me show you right now so open the app uh, here we have a little tutorial and I think it is very cool to show it very quickly so let's scroll down for tips uh, and it says uh, flick right for space flick left for delete uh, I'm gonna show all of that in action of course uh, flick right again for the dot for period, uh, flick down to change words or punctuation. This is cool as well, so we're gonna have more options. And rotate the crown to review your text. Press firmly on the screen for menu, all right? So that's pretty much it. And then start typing. So let me type a sentence. So I'm gonna type uh, this, so left, so right, sorry. So then it reviews the word. And I can keep typing, like is, again, uh, a and then I can say test it's very interesting because it always works like uh, you don't necessarily touch the correct thing but it predicts very very well so then here I have my sentence and then I can uh, 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 turn my digital crown up as it showed you and then I see the whole sentence and then I can circle between what I want and then I can tap on the text again and then uh, I bring up my keyboard now I have other options if I want to put emoji for example uh, I can uh, swipe to the right and then it's gonna put my period, and then it knows there's another sentence, so then I can use my emojis, so I can swipe up, so then I can have the emojis I showed you before, remember? So then these are the emojis I selected, so I can go up, upwards or down, so for example, I can have the clap emoji right here, uh, and I also have the option to change my pronunciation, or, my, or the words themselves, so um, let's go back and delete that, Okay, so we are back to text. So let's say I didn't type test, I like it missed, it didn't get it right. So I can swipe down 
and then again it's going to give me different options so as you guys can see test or rest or tier so then uh, it almost always gets it 100% correctly but if it doesn't you have the option to use all these gestures and swipes and things to get exactly as you want so again let me get back to the message I was typing before so it can be like that for example and now of course let me show you how you can send it so you can force touch and then hit send and that's the cool part it's super easy super simple and as you guys can see it's gonna show you right here uh, the three the four the five actually more most recent i messages so uh, if somebody sends you a message and then you can go straight to the flake type app they're gonna be first or second or whatever uh, so then you can already like tap on it and send or of course you can tap on the plus contact but button and then select the contact you want to send if you want to send a new message so or to a person that you don't have a conversation or the conversation is very old so so let's just test it out real quick. I'm going to select this contact right here and then you have the contact and the message and then you can hit send and then as you guys can see this is attached to that number it just sent straight away super easy super simple so that's the best way you can type on your Apple Watch and if you want to see how you can do it for the WhatsApp it is actually surprisingly easier it's much easier because uh, of course you have to download an app if you want to do for WhatsApp because we don't have WhatsApp right here and as I mentioned before you can't reply straight on notifications using flick type so then you have to download this app called watch chat as you guys are seeing right there I'm gonna have a link in the description uh, to that application uh, so then we can just go ahead and open it up and then it's gonna open your feed like uh, your normal like notification your normal uh, WhatsApp as if you're using like iMessages right here I really really like it and then I can just you can just scroll down and there you have it that's flick type that's the icon we were using before that's the app you're using before so you can just step here uh, type it out and then send uh, to this conversation to this group chat whatever you want it is actually easier on watch chat because you just go ahead open the app you see everything that you want to see and then you just type it out on your keyboard as if you're using your iPhone instead of having to use like this two-way process of typing and then sending to another application. Uh, watch Chat is actually very interesting. It is a paid app, unfortunately. But if you want to see like a walkthrough, a review of this app, please make sure to go ahead and hit on the on the comment section below and let me know if you want to if you want to see this because I can make a video on that and show you uh, all around Watch Chat. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this new and this cool way to type on your Apple Watch.